What is up, guys? We are back for NFC number 30. That's right. This is our 30th podcast together, WT and I. That's amazing. Um, and we have massive, massive, massive news today. This is absolutely crazy. Um, you know, Guild of Guardians just announced that they're bringing in a bunch of eSport teams uh, into the mix, into their... Um, into their into the into the into the game, which is which is massive. They've talked about being an esports thing before, being part of the esports uh, thing. They had NRG before uh, that came in. They had a hero named Reborn. Now they have Team Liquid, uh, Nadis Vinceri, I believe is how you pronounce that. SK Gaming, Fnatic, NRG, of course, T1, Ninjas in Pajamas, and Cloud Nine. These are some massive, 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 massive names. My brain has just literally exploded and left the planet. And I need to like reel it back in and like control myself here right now because I am just, my mind is blown. It is absolutely blown. Get back over here. Let's, you know, we need to, we need to, we need to rally. We need to rally here. We need to relax. We need to rally because I'm telling you, man, I'm, I am super excited. When I read that this morning, I read that tweet this morning, literally out loud. I was like, no way. This is huge. Uh, I understand how big this is. I hope the people watching this understand how big this is. If you don't, trust me, it is huge. This is absolutely huge. Um, nobody's doing this in this space. Nobody is doing this esports stuff. In this space. Nobody's getting these, these deals like Gilded Guardians is getting these. These legitimate, these are legitimate esport teams. These are not just, you know, a few buddies, you know, making a team and call themselves an esport. No, no, this is, these are legitimate <laughs> organizations, big time. I've watched these guys play in like League of Legends, they're in Valorant and all these other games, you know, uh, Dota. These are legitimate teams. Uh, in the big leagues, so this is really, 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 really uh, incredible. Before I get any further, sorry, WT, I went in this whole tear. I didn't even say hello. I am just amped. So, WT, what is up, man? I got, I got something to tell you, man. I met Cyrus the other day, and I'm a little bit sad that you missed it. We did a podcast. We'll get to that. I want to talk to WT first. I'm just super excited, man. I'm super excited. WT, what's going on, man? What's going on? Why do you gotta cut me like that? We already know that I missed him, and I gotta deal with that letdown now. Your words are hurtful, bro. No, I'm just kidding. No, I was trying to like, well, how am I gonna get Bruno back? He just launched off into space, and I'm like, come back, Bruno, don't leave us, you know? Gone. But, I'm out of here. Gone. It was crazy. I'm yeah. So uh, boy, there there's so much to say about this. I'm not a real big expert in esports. I know they exist. I know what they're for. I know what it means. But like the. I'm just looking at this from a, a, a strictly economic standpoint and what this means. And w there is other legit blue chip projects that are very focused on getting these esports going because they know what it means. They know about the numbers. They know about the hype and, and just the general overall picture of it. But Guild of Guardians is getting it done. They're getting it done. It's, it's one thing to talk about it and want to do it, but to actually get it done and get these big players, it is it is just absolutely massive, and it, it's got to give you confidence. There, anytime you get something done and you say, hey, we checked this off the box, it, it's it's ready, it's done, it, it's it's success. It's a, a, it's a success, and it's got to give you confidence. And like I said, I don't know a ton about these, but we had... Many, many signals from Robbie Ferguson himself saying about how Q4 was going to be big. And last year, if all of us remember, Q4 was huge. And we are two weeks away from the start of official Q4. And they locked this down. And I got I to be honest, man. I think they're just starting to prime things yeah. for the run. I, I, I can't say for sure, but boy. Sure smells and looks like it to me. What do you think? Yeah, we've been, su I mean, we, everybody that's been watching, if you're new to this channel, by the way, um, my name is Bruno or Capone game. You call, you call me either one. Doesn't matter. This is my boy WT. And, uh, we've been very, very bullish on Guild of Guardians from the start. We, we love this, this, this game, the community, the community is, is unbeatable, unmatched. Uh, the team themselves, big shout out to Ryan. I mean, huge shout out to Ryan and everybody on the team, uh, that is involved. They, the work they put in is just unbelievable. It's, it's, I can't believe it. Uh, I know Ryan does the work of 10 people. I'll tell you that right now. Um, I want to say, um, yeah, I'm super bullish on this, on this, uh, on this game on Guild of Guardians, 
uh, Robbie, the IMX, the Ferguson brothers. I mean, you cannot bet against these guys. These guys are in this to win this. They want to be the big dogs. They're pulling in so many different things. This is another step uh, just to, to the greatness that they're going to, this is going to be huge. This is going to be huge. Mm-hmm. IMX, Guild of Guardians, uh, uh, mark it down. I'll say it with my full chest. This will be huge. <laughs> Uh, and I'm super, 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 super excited about it. So uh, what does this mean for Guild of Guardians? Like, what does this mean? I think it puts them on the map. I mean, I know there was, like, eSport uh, news articles already put out. This is just announced, like, an hour or so ago, maybe a couple hours ago. I don't even know what it is now. And, um, and you know, there's already articles out about it. Other eSports teams will see this, and they'll learn about Guild of Guardians. They'll be like, hey, we, maybe we should get in on this. Uh, people that have no idea what Guild of Guardians is, people that have no idea what Web3 is, they're now going to get knowledge and awareness of Guild of Guardians. This is going to be their, this is their gateway into the space and it's Guild of Guardians. So a lot of people are going to learn about, you know, one Guild of Guardians, two Web3 from this. It's a win-win all around. So I think this is absolutely, absolutely massive. And like I said, this is the only game that does this. And, uh, and I'm super, super bullish. So another thing, we just did an AMA uh, a couple nights ago, two nights ago on my Twitch channel. I'm going to put the link below. Make sure you check it out. Uh, and we did an AMA with the de- with the devs. Um, big shout out to the devs, Josiah and Chemek. Uh, and, uh, you know, we broke down a lot of the things. So if you want to check that out as well, we're going to be putting that VOD up as well. Um, we're going to we go over a lot of the things, a lot of what Guild of Guardians is, what's upcoming and stuff like that. So it was a big, nice turnout. I want to say thank you to the entire community that came out and supported it, came by, checked it out, Watch, listen, pay attention, ask the questions. Uh, it's just awesome. It's awesome to see the community together. It's awesome to see the community, uh, you know, in this, and, and and it's so supportive and love it. Uh, WT, what are your thoughts on this? Now, I want to say we have an energy hero. Maybe that means these guys get their heroes. We don't know yet. Maybe they're going to get some heroes. This is going to be. It's going to be very interesting to see. Uh, these teams battle it out. How are they, who's going to be on top? And, you know, maybe if they got a spot, I mean, you know, I'm just going to say, you know, cloud nine Capone sounds nice. Fanatic Capone sounds nice. Team liquid Capone. It's, it's got a ring to it, man. You know I mean? I got my own Jersey already. I can add your logo here somewhere. You know, we, you know, we could talk, we could talk. Uh, but <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I am amped. And uh, this is absolutely incredible. So what are your thoughts, man? What are your over- th- overall thoughts on it all? Yeah, I, I can tell you're amped. I, I, I love seeing it. Um, Honestly, uh, the two things that stick out to me right off the bat is the economic impact that this very potentially could have, and then exposure, just massive amounts of exposure to non-Web3 crypto people. And that's what we need. Uh, It's what we talk about all the time. Uh, We love our Web3 crypto people, but there's just not enough of us right now. And everybody that's in this community should know by now we need the mass adoption. It has to happen. We can't do this on our own. So uh, we're we're not even looking for the whole planet. We can wait a year or two for the whole planet to get into this game. But uh, no, nah, I'm just messing around. And that's if we just get you know five to ten percent of the the real deal gaming community. It's you're gonna see it. You're gonna see it, and it's just it's just gonna steamroll, especially with the quality product. And uh, you know, you brought up energy sports. We've known about that for a while, and they're pretty big. Uh, Nine hundred and 960k numbers on their Twitter. Oh, let these numbers, these numbers blew me away. Like I said, I didn't know much, and this just came out like I think less than an hour ago. And we were like, we got to talk about this right now. This is this is this hot. This is this breaking. We got to jump on this right now and talk about it. Team Liquid 750k followers. Fanatic 1.6 million. Navi 704k. Ninjas in pajamas. I love your name. <laughs> Correct me up. 590k. SK Gaming 300k, NRG 660k or 960k, sorry. Team One LOL 770k and Cloud9 1.2 million. I mean, the numbers alone, the numbers alone mm-hmm. of exposure, just straight up. Hey, look at this product. That you like the eyes on it, and they came out with this slick little quick video this morning, and uh, it had Leah Varick. Othrox, Farah, and we got to see a quick glimpse of your boy reborn in it. it I know. It, it looked pretty sick. I went ahead and looked at it, but uh, I don't know, man. Maybe uh, what do you think about taking a look at that uh, demo? Let's, let's fire it up. Let's fire it up right now. Let's check it out. Okay, so you see how they line up? That looks awesome. Uh, mm-hmm. I already love this already. The the cinematics, the, the editing. I mean, these guys have the top notch player, top notch people on the team doing this stuff. Look how beautiful this is. 
And uh, man, I'm so excited. So for those that have no idea what Guild of Guardians is, it is a dungeon crawler like this. Uh, you have your heroes and you you go in. They're quick dungeons, which is beautiful. You get the loot. Look at this right here. Look at this right here. That is one of the heroes uh, reborn. And I do actually own that hero. So a uh, big shout out to uh, Reborn and the energy team. I do own that hero. Look at this. These are all the logos of the new teams uh, joining the uh, joining the Guild of Guardians community. This is absolutely incredible. So yeah, it's a dungeon crawler like this. You have your heroes, you go around, uh, and you farm. And that's how you get your loot, and you level up your heroes as you go. It's a dungeon crawler uh, on the Web3 platform. Now, so they've been talking about um, mass adoption, okay? And it's a free-to-play game. Yes, you can get heroes. You can pick up heroes. And this is one of those ways to get the mass adoption. There's a lot of eyes on these eSport teams that now we're going to learn about the game. You know, uh, sign up, play the game. It is massive. They're talking about they want millions of people playing this game. And I see it happening. I see it happening. So that was the trailer of these eSports teams coming in. Absolutely well done. Uh, seeing those logos in this game, it means something to me because I do know these teams. And these are big name teams. These are legitimate teams. So seeing those logos in the game to me is massive. And uh, I I'm super excited. I'm super excited to uh, see where this goes. Uh, any final thoughts on this, uh, WT? I know we wanted to get a, a video out there. Just talk about it quickly. Uh, guys, make sure you follow this channel if you don't already. We do a lot of Guild of Guardians updates. Uh, we are both ambassadors of Guild of Guardians. We love this. We're very, very um, bullish on this project. And uh, you're going to see a lot of Guild of Guardians content uh, on this channel. So if you want to keep up to date, up to the news, see what's new and exciting with the, with the community, uh, this is the place to find it. So hit that follow button. Let us know down below which team... Which team are you most excited about um, that signed on? I want to know because I, you know, there's a few of them for sure. There's a lot of them, all of them. There's definitely a few of them I'm, I've been fans with of before they came aboard on board here. So this is amazing. So WT, any closing uh, statements you want to say on the way out? Uh, lots of things behind the scenes uh, on the ambassador program that are also ramping up in conjunction with this huge news. I know everyone has lots of questions. Uh, it's going to come. Just be patient. And if they're making these moves like this, there's going to be probably something coming, I would guess, to facilitate all these energy uh, sports teams. So super bullish on it. And uh, I know you are, Bruno. And oh, I yeah. can't wait to do it, baby. Let's go. Let's go. All right. We're out of here, you beauties. We love you. See you later. Peace.